Welcome back to the channel. This is a taboo that's hard to break. Many prefer to stay silent rather than risk a dislike, but I believe it's essential to raise awareness, be intellectually honest, and tell things as they really are. Security in the Linux world is getting worse. And no, it's not because Linux has suddenly become insecure. It's not a technical or architectural issue. The real point is this. Linux usage is growing, and with it comes an influx of less prepared, less conscious, and less ideologically driven users compared to the past. Not to mention that Linux has now reached a critical mass that makes it an attractive target for those who create malware. This opens up new vulnerabilities. It leaves doors unlocked and attackers are noticing. The open source malware index report published by Sonotype at the beginning of April is clear. In the first four months of 2025, 17,954 malicious open source packages were identified, a 230% increase over the same period last year. This isn't a lone voice shouting into the desert. It's a concrete, tangible, and well-documented reality. IBM confirms it too in their 2025 X-Force Threat Index report. Credential theft is rising sharply, and attacks are becoming more silent, more subtle, and much harder to detect. 56% of these malicious packages are classified as data exfiltration malware, designed to steal sensitive information. Another 7% are the usual crypto miners, ready to drain your machine's resources. This is the reality. And ignoring it just to preserve the idealized image of an unbreakable system is irresponsible. If we love Linux, we have to defend it. And defending it today means raising awareness, educating, and being demanding. With ourselves and with those who write code. The first line of defense is cultural. But on a practical level, we also need to seriously apply the approach that everyone talks about but few truly implement, shift left. It means bringing security to the very beginning of the process, writing secure code, analyzing dependencies from day one, integrating security checks into build and test systems, involving security from the start, not just at the end. If we really want a secure, free, and sustainable ecosystem, we must act now because if they destroy trust, they take everything. And yes, we might lose the very alternative we claim to defend. Thanks for watching.